The first step towards achieving your dreams is having the right coach. Get the best education with Hybrid Trader and make your options, strategies and swing trading dreams come true. Download the app now. Session is getting recorded. Okay. That's it guys. Okay, see guys, today's session is all about the reverse buying. Okay, so this is this is a generic session, not only for the paid mentorship, uh, but for all the uh, non-paid mentorship also. So just in case, uh, if the paid membership feels a bit busy, uh, uh, bored, right? Because we have already discussed like two to three times. But again, today we are going to do some sort of simulation, right? I'll take the uh, perfect big and try to show you all the ins and outs about the reverse buying. Okay, so rather than me. Uh, Talking first on the theory, okay. See, basically, what happens with the other YouTubers is like even I have faced that issue. Say they talk everything theory, right? Initial 30, 40, 50 minutes will be theory, and the last 10 minutes will be practical. See, if I'm not aware of the practical session, how would I be able to understand the theory? That's the biggest question. See, I'm not trying to praise myself, but ideally, all the trainers, right? First, they should give the pra practical uh, orientation, a sort of uh, uh, what do we say, uh, the, the, uh, the simulation something and then they have to go for the theory. But what I observe is they talk for hours and hours for theory. They say this is a reverse, buy, reverse buying. You have, let's let you vir virtualize, visualize and everything. right? So don't you guys think right? first we should have the practical and then if we talk about the theory, then we will be able to connect all those dots. Guys, do you believe me? Right. First practical session followed by uh, uh, what do we say? Uh, the theory. Does it work? I mean, that's what I try to keep my sessions. First, I'll I'll make it more practical and then I'll discuss the theory. Yeah. Before that, right, guys? <coughs> right. Before that, happy new year to all. Okay. That's it. This is my, uh, what do we say? Uh, a sort of advice to all. Okay. So, happy new year to all. Right. And then I'll say, let's all save capital in 2020 you know right i am i am a bit different basically that's it i never look out the profit but when i say let's save the capital in 2023 by applying the learnings of 2022 it has a great message guys see i do not this is my own i do not copy some others right what i mean to say is like if i save the capital in 2023 profit is by product that's the key that's one of the usb of my um, trading style save the capital that's it Profit is by product. If you respect the market, market will also respect you. But again, I'm not treating market as a god. Market is driven by people like you and me. <clears throat> no two people will have the same opinion. So what I meant to say is like the best way is save the capital. Market is driven by dash people. Now you go ahead and fill that dash. I, I, I literally mean it, guys. I literally mean it. Market is driven by people. We end up saying FIS drive the uh, market, DIS drive the market. But what do you think? Do you think FIS are God? No, right? Even they are people like you and me. Even their thought process change, their opinion change, their perception change. So there comes save your capital in 2023 by applying the learnings of 2022. When I say learnings, yes, it can be learning and it can be the mistakes what we have done. But that doesn't mean that that's the end of the learning. And Two things what I believe is two things what I believe is like success is journey, not destination. There is no end for right. Success is just a journey. No one can say that I am I am one of the uh, most successful in the market, right? Market because I told you that market is driven by people like you and me, right? And then risk. I I like this uh, from the scam movie, but I've just added calculated risk. Yeah, people people. Many people they take risk, right? Uh, one of the things what they take is a risk, right? But I have added this calculated. Anytime when you go for risk, go for calculated risk. All right. Then, okay. Guys, you're there, right? One second. So we have decent participants. Okay. Now, the last slide, guys, <clears throat> this one. See, before I start the journey, this event, just I wanted to give like two minutes. I want to spend like two minutes, guys, right? Year to 2022 was like, see, I've started with the FNO, right? I've started the FNO from the month of uh, maybe this year, right? 2022 in the in the month of March, I believe, right? Uh, I started with the FNO is I have some good experience into swing trading, right? That's what I've started with the swing trading. Launched my YouTube channel for just for fun in March. Now, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm glad 
for each and every one right i have like almost like 4000 plus subscribers which is unbelievable honestly i'm telling i did not i thought maybe it might take 3 years 4 years for me to get to 1000 2000 subscribers but within less than i've started the month of march or april i believe i got oh, i got almost like 4000 subscribers 550 youtube videos what i have made and the takeaway is contract trading that's it the only way not to be trapped by mr market is the contract trade i mean if you have belief let's right, stay with me be with me okay i mean you guys will uh, finally you will uh, accept it saying that yes contract trading is the only one where the market will not trap us year 2023 guys last one minute and then we'll jump on to the reverse buying plan to go international guys this this is something let's say i want to go for international through udemy right already have started creating all the contents what i'll do is like so it is not something like i'm just going to create something right just my that, that's my wish basically i want to go international because the stock market the price action everything is universal right the price action what we apply on the indian market stocks the same thing will be getting applied on any country yeah. in the country so my plan is to go through the udemy this was my last year plan but i could not get that done scale up the capital to 1 cr right uh, i'll uh, that, that's my plan actually and then enjoy trading by not blowing up capital that's it everyone will say enjoy trading by being a profitable but but i what i say is like by not blowing up capital sorry guys for giving all this bashan but now what i'll do okay now what i'll do does does it make sense or not at least at least if one say that 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 that, that makes sense i mean you're making me happy okay so now i'll right away take you to this is see, simple guys i'll keep my trading style simple believe me even you have to keep it that's it my only one take away for each and every participant who is uh, attending the session is boss do not look for profit yes i literally mean it boss try to save your capital do not get influenced by myself by others and everything boss try to save the capital and see the magic try to save the capital and see the magic see i'll be making a video on my swing journey right literally i said in the swing trading because options is a experimental for me it's been like eight or nine months i've been experimenting but swing trading believe me i went almost like 60% in this year i I'm, i'm just going to make a video right with all the proofs with all the live my angel one account my this thing right even last 2021 or 2022 i made like good profit but even this year i made like almost like 60% guys i'll be sharing you at least 50% i would say within swing right now this is the year wherein i want to show i want to show all the real profits in my uh, options trading definitely i'm working on in terms of increasing my capital because i've already made a video right the more the capital the the, the great advantages you will have already i've made the video did anyone saw that video did anyone saw that video the myths of small capital versus uh, the big capital anyone guys right just watch that video i mean it basically you try to add up few more points that's it if you have more capital that will that will that will give you more uh, added advantage believe me guys okay now let me take you to <coughs> see, right so now what i'll do see rather than we talking about all this uh, theory i'll just right away take you to obstra and then we will discuss everything on the obstra game see what just to save your time what i have done is like see uh, i am into simulator right i'm just going to take the current week why why should i take 22nd 15th right i'll just take the current week expiry i mean the the last expiry what we have in obstra is 29th right december 29th december start date would be uh, start date would be 22nd we are doing it in bank nifty so guys are we good to start with the session see this this A session is all about. I'm just going to tell you what are the wrong myths about the reverse buying. <clears throat> you will going. You are going to enjoy the video. <clears throat> the only the common mistakes what we do in the reverse buying. I'm just going to explain it. Okay. So now let's see. It's the typical right. We are we are going to deploy the iron fly at 3 p.m. That's it. Okay. The market stands at 42,533. I'll take it as 42,500 or 42,600. It's up to you. So let's take it as 42,500. Two five. I'll let you know everything. Right? We'll do that with the demo. Forty two five hundred is simple. I'll sell this. But you know, right? My iron fly. I'll not sell this. I'll I'll do based on my view. But still, just for this example, I'm just telling you this normal star iron fly. Right? Three twenty eight plus three sixty two. So how much of premium I got? Three hundred, three hundred, six hundred, and then sixty two. Got it. Seven hundred premium. What I got? I'll take the seven hundred break even. One, two, three, five, six, seven. 
I'll buy back. I'll buy this as an edge. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So note one. This is the right. <clears throat> okay. We will do practical, and then we will do uh, this symbol. So now this is my iron fly. Okay. So now this is very important. So this is my maximum profit and maximum loss. All right. So what I'll try to do. See. Uh, see, there is a no golden rule saying that. See, what I'll do is like I'll I'll explain in the life cycle of the reverse buying also. See, what I do is like I plot this. See, this break even, right? This break even and this break even. Never ever ignore these points, boss. Beat any strategy. Okay, what I meant to say is like whenever you see the break even, right? This break even, what I'm asking, right? This forty two three hundred. Or forty two nine sixty six, right? This cannot be a random break even, guys. So you have to see. So let's see. Uh, I'll I'll discuss this in the iron play. Okay. Now let's let's prove it, right? But just I'm giving a small disclaimer. This break line should not be ignored. You cannot have the standard iron play, right? Basically, what you have to do is like whenever you this is your current market. Let's say you you have resistance one and resistance two. Okay. And then you you have support one support two. This is what I do and play. So what you have to do is like this resistance <clears throat> one should match with your this thing. Not straight, but at least try to map it with this levels. What I mean to say, we'll discuss again. And this support one should match this support one, and this support two should match this support two. Then only you will be able to do the adjustments perfectly. This is not pertaining to only for reverse buying anything. Right, you you should not ignore this break even again. I'm telling this is one of the takeaways. No one will tell, but try to try to have these points matched with your levels. How how you can do that? That comes with your experience. I I I, I cannot guarantee you saying that this resistance one would match with this resistance. At least try to try to have this resistance, this break even around the first of your. Resistance and the second resistance should be this thing. So then only you will because market stands here, right? Then only you will be able to know whether I should do the reverse buying when my market stands here because I know this there is a critical resistance. Market can take a U turn also. Should I hold or should I do the reverse buying? If you do the reverse buying, you pretty well know after one percent or point five percent there is one more strong resistance, right? So then comes your plan plan B. Even if you do the reverse buying here, you know there is a strong resistance. So should I hold? Or should I do? If this resistance also gets breached, then there is no point of doing the reverse buying. I'll, I'll I'll explain you everything because people do reverse buying just for the just for the formality of doing it. They do not even know what are the pros and cons. Okay, now this is your typical iron fly. Okay, now what I'll do? <clears throat> We are on Thursday. Okay, I'm just taking you to the next Monday. Oh, sorry, next day. Thirty thirty minutes. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> did I deploy this in three thirty, guys? Sorry. One second. Okay, my bad. Okay, ah, uh, still right. Okay, one second. It deployed at three p.m. Yeah, three p.m. Right? Yeah, three p.m. We have deployed this trade. Okay, let me minimize the screen so that you guys can see the entire screenshot. Okay, right. Thursday, <coughs> Thursday, three thirty p.m. This is my iron fly. I forget about this thing. Right? Ah, uh, thirty minutes. So next day morning. Market opened at nine twenty, <clears throat> guys. Again, I'm telling you, if someone <clears throat> again has the <clears throat> perception of saying that this guy has already seen the chart, that's the reason I'm not showing you the chart. That's the reason. Don't even look at the chart, guys. That particular weekend, this particular weekend, don't even go and look at the chart. Even I'll not show you the chart. If I show you the chart, right, you guys will again think this guy knows the view of the market right now i'll show you each and everything in the practical oriented way right before that what i'll do before that what i'll do let me show you uh, let me take you back okay one second guys right 3 pm we have deployed the trade <clears throat> let me show you how this trade performed till the expiry next day i'm taking you to the next day okay next day your loss is 1310 friday Monday, yes, two sixty one is your profit. Whenever you do some sort of simulation, guys, you you do the simulation. You you check how your trade behaved with all the adjustments, and also check how your trade behaved without the adjustments. I'm just showing you without the adjustment. Right, twenty seventh, twenty ninth is the day. You have a profit of one thousand eighty eight. This is how the market will play. You have the profit of five thousand. Uh, sorry, five thirty three. 
expiry day, right? We are at a loss of 2868. All right, guys. So let me show you what happened during the end of the market. That's it. See, check the check the this thing, guys. On expiry day, your loss was 2868. And when the market expired at 330, your loss went to 5790. Right. This has become very common since from last two to three weeks. This has become very common, especially during the what well, well, during the expiry day. Guys, do not. That's the reason I'm telling book your profit in iron fly uh, any strategy, right? Last 30 minutes during last three uh, expiry day or before the day, right after the day, we are seeing that volatile moment. <clears throat> Can you please recollect, guys? What I what I meant to say is the 30 minutes, right? What happened during the 30 minutes? <clears throat> your loss was 2,800. All of a sudden, it is like almost like five, almost like double, right? You all you all are able to recollect, right? The 30 minutes, right? This is one of the thing what you guys have to learn, right? This there is a gamma effect. The last 30 minutes, right? Let, let's not talk about the technical jargon gamma, right? We all know 10 rupees premium. If someone has bought, that can become 300, 200, 300. The last 30 minutes also. And now what I'll do, I'll get it back to 30 minutes. I'll get you back to day one. <clears throat> day one, I'll get you back. Okay, this is where we have started. Okay, the next 30 minutes and then I'm taking you to the next day. Right, The next day market stands here. So now I know the moment the market stands here, right? Too many things comes into your mind. Someone told me whenever the market stands here, I have to do the reverse buy. That's it. That, that's the thing about you. Whenever, see, market was standing here, we all know. When the market comes here, do the reverse buying from this. When the market stands here, do the reverse buying from uh, this side. Right? This is what you have learned, guys. Can, can someone at least say yes or no? <clears throat> right? This is what even even I've done the same mistake. When when I have learned, right? Even I've done the same mistake. That's it. When the market market was center, right? If the market moves here, right? Do the reverse buying from this side. If the market stands here, do the reverse buying from this side because we all know when the market stands here, this side premiums will decay, right? When the market stands here, this side premiums will decay. That's the reason we end up doing multiple reverse buying. So now what I'll do, right? <coughs> two things, <coughs> right? Your reverse buying, two things. What is reverse buying, right? Again, I'm telling you the name itself says reverse buying. That's it, RB, okay, reverse buying. So divide this into two things. This is reverse and you have something called buy. This is not reverse selling boss, right? This is reverse buying. The biggest advantage of reverse buying is like, even if someone doesn't have the capital of 3 lakhs, even if he has like 60, 70,000, he will be able to play the iron fly. Though iron fly is a credit strategy, but still if someone is doesn't have the much, I mean, doesn't have bigger capital, he can still play with the uh, iron fly by doing the reverse buying. So as the name says, we have to buy on the reversal. That's it, guys. So we have to buy on the reversal. <clears throat> okay, let me take an example. Right, same thing. That's that's all right. Let's say the market stands here. Market went up. There is a strong resistance. Okay. Now, okay, let me show it in the payoff only. Market stands here now. Okay. So should I do the reverse buying or not? Is the biggest question what I should ask myself. Now, if I do the reverse buying, what will happen is like the moment I do the reverse buying. Right, I'll be able to reduce the loss on my call side. That is, this is my opposite side. Believe me, in the reverse buying, there is there are only two sides. One is your testing side. This is your testing side because market stands here. Right, your your potential loss is on the testing side. Opposite side is your call side. But now, if I do the reverse buying, I'll be able to reduce the loss on the opposite side. Point number one. Then I'll be that whatever extra. Uh, what do we say? The premium I am uh, paying for the reverse buying, that premium will get added here, right? It could be 1000, 2000. Now, what are we doing basically? We are adding up the loss on the testing side. Now, if, if ask that question to yourself, you're not doing the reverse buying just because someone said you have, that's what I told you, the view of the market is must. I'm just doing the reverse buying. <clears throat> With an intention of mark, let's say this is a strong resistance, or maybe there is a strong resistance at here. Sorry, support, my bad. Right? Support or support. It is making a sort of reversal candle move. Right? It's making a sort of reversal candle because market was standing here. Right? It almost gapped down by like 1% or 2%. Now you see that you have your levels. Either there is a strong resist support here, or it's, even if the support is breached, 
मार्केट गोज डाउन यू एव ए सेकेंड सपोर्ट right this two levels are must guys if you do if you're not able to identify these two levels do not even go for reverse buying because you are <coughs> not having the clarity of what reverse buying can do so now what i'll do yes this is the point where the market can take a u turn so now what i have to do is like i have to reduce the loss on my call side that's it i have to reduce my call on the call side because i know market will take the u turn so when market takes a u turn right so my though this is my testing side okay i'm just my plan is to reduce the loss on the opposite side because i know the market will take a u turn and then what i can do is like if really if the market comes down right so let's see i'll i'll show you one second I'll let me show you let's see reverse buying is is system in itself i cannot explain to you in one hour it it takes two to three hours but give me some time i'll explain let let me do the same thing right let me show you Okay, <clears throat> we have taken the loss. Five thousand eight fifty is the loss. Now, let me do the reverse buying. So now my forty three thousand two hundred. Okay, right. Definitely, this is in loss. Right. This is giving me one thousand eighty five loss because we go for call buying with an intention of market going up. Market has fallen down. This is already giving you the loss. And again, we are planning to do the same reverse buying. So now, see, you bought it for ninety nine rupees. now the premium has become 56 so if you look at the difference that's the loss what i'll do 43200 guys okay 43200 <clears throat> all right so now this is trading at 56 rupees so now if i want to do the reverse buying if i want to go for 100 points if i want to go for 100 points exit this 43 and go for 4300 so how much premium you are giving right 70 almost like 15 rupees premium you are giving guys 15 rupees premium okay if i want to go for 200 points uh, reverse buying so 83 minus 56 right 66 76 86 almost like how much you are giving right uh, end of the day for 200 points I'm very bad at. Can someone please tell me, right? Fifty-six, seventy-six, eighty-six. So less than. Can someone type me? What is eighty-three minus fifty-six? Twenty-seven rupees. Yeah, for two hundred strike difference. For it, for two hundred strike reverse. I mean, what do we say, right? See, what am I trying to do again? Let me show you guys. I mean, say I want to take some time, guys. I know there are like few expert also. See, what am I trying to do? I'm just planning to reduce this loss. So now, just keep a check. Five thousand is the loss and eleven thousand is the profit. Right, all your questions will be addressed. So now, what I'll do, I'll go for forty-three thousand two hundred. I'll try to do two hundred points. Forty-three two hundred. Right, I'll go for uh, one two. I'll buy back this. <clears throat> okay, check the payoff. Right, you should know how your payoff looks. Right, this is how your payoff looks because we have two buy positions. So now, what I'll do, I'll exit this. Fifty-six rupees. I'll exit this call. Got it? <clears throat> right. See, this is what I meant to say. <clears throat> Now check the profit. Your profit has reduced from eleven thousand six twenty-five. Your profit has reduced to almost eleven thousand. No, no, not a big deal, right? You are able to reduce only six twenty-five rupees profit. But check the check the loss. Your loss was actually five thousand eight fifty. But now you got almost like six thousand five twenty-five. Right, this loss has increased. This loss has increased, but check this loss. From four thousand, that's a forty. From five thousand eight fifty, you are able to reduce your loss to only one thousand five twenty five. So I'll not tell you the logic, but you have to know the logic because what you have done, what you have done, so you have reduced the spread of three hundred rupees by just giving how much twenty seven rupees. So now let me show you the calculation. Right. So you know, right. By just spending this twenty-seven rupees into twenty-five, right? This six seventy-five rupees loss got added to your put side. Not a big deal, right? Yes. End of the day, though we do the reverse buying, right? Your original loss was five thousand eight fifty. Yes, you are able to increase the loss, but not into such a great extent, wherein you will get into panic. Only thing is, like you are able to increase the loss by only twenty-seven rupees. Whatever premium you are giving, that premium would end up uh, showing into the put side. But why did we do the reverse buying? Because we know that market will take a U turn. If you do not have the view of the market, guys, don't do the reverse buying. Just for the formality purpose, if you are doing it, you are doing it completely hundred percent wrong. 
what could be the other way right if someone as if someone says that yes there is a strong resistance support here or there is a support let's say there is a support here right then doing this reverse buying makes sense because market but what if if someone as market will not reverse but market has already breached my strong support support was here if market is going down side what adjustments will you be doing guys really tell me i have told you the reverse buying in case if the market Takes the support and takes the U turn. I've told you, but let's say based on your price action, market has already breached a strong support and it is going downside. What will you do? Will you still do the yeah. reverse buying? Guys? Can someone please tell me? Will Will you still be doing the reverse buying if the market has become momentum from there? New iron fly, print testing site closer. Just think, just think. Market is going downside. Just now, all my paid membership program. You have to give me the. <laughs> what will you do? Buy PE. That is absolutely right. Yeah. <clears throat> what could be the other thing? Opposite selling. Absolutely, Chandu. Opposite selling. Absolutely right. Because, see, I cannot show you all the adjustments. And if someone will say, what if if market goes downside? What if if market takes the reverse buy? Uh, takes the U turn? What if market stays static? If if I want you to tell all these adjustments, see, I cannot tell you. It, it takes one day, two day, three days. Like end of the day, you should have the broader level, right? Broken wing fly, right? Someone said deploy the broken wing fly, right? No one, no one said the right adjustment, right? Before deploying the broken wing fly, what should I do? Before selling the call, what should I do? Before selling the call from this opposite side, what should I do? <clears throat> Reduce the loss by RBPE, right? See what I'll I'll tell you, right? Let me show you, right? I'll I'll again remove this. I'll get it back to same thing. I'll tell it this. Okay, this is my original uh, iron play. Now either I can do the reverse buying, wherein I've shown you how to reduce the loss on the uh, all side by just increasing the loss just to the extent what debit I'm paying. That's it. So now you got my point, right? I now how much of debit you have to give? It's up to you guys. That's the reason I wanted to be like very slow. Now forty three thousand two hundred bucks. Again, people will ask me, right? If I exit this forty three thousand two hundred, how much of strike should I go for? Hundred strike, two hundred strike, three hundred, four hundred. It's up to you guys. It's up to you. If you want to give the twenty-seven rupees extra debit, the debit will get added to your loss to your testing side. You go for two hundred points if you are okay. You, if you are concerned, no, I cannot give like go for only hundred points. If someone is concerned about, because I am pretty sure that market will bounce back from there. So there is no word called bounce back, but let's say market can bounce. What you can do? See one, two, three. Let me show you like four hundred points. Let me show you four hundred points. Someone is like pretty sure with the uh, what do we say forty one nine hundred and let me exit this by <clears throat> right. What have I what have I done? Right. I mean, I, I, did I do something wrong, you guys? Here, yeah. Did I do something wrong here? Forty-three to hundred, and someone. Yeah. See, basically now, if you are like pretty much sure about the market going upside, right? So this is how you will change. Now your maximum profit has increased. Yes, your maximum loss will increase because you are pretty sure that market will go up. So now you are giving more debit now. But in case if the view goes wrong, so you will end up into loss. But this is not the ideal way. What you have to do? Let me again get you back to uh, original this thing, right? Zero. <clears throat> Okay. See the other thing. If someone wants to deploy the broken wing fly here or do right, what you can do is like if if you think that market can market has already breached my strong support. This was a support market was standing here. It breached my strong support. So there is a very strong support at at this side. So I do not see any sort of reversal from this position to this position. So I've now I've become directional. Yes, I've deployed the iron fly with a non-directional view, but now market has. Reach my support due to some news. I do not see any sort of support. So then, what you have to do is like you have to safeguard your profit, your, your loss. So what now? The opposite of reverse buying is like I'll not do the reverse buying now. What I'll do is like first I'll exit this. First I'll exit uh, this fifty six rupees, and then I'll see what can I do to reduce this loss, guys. 
Now what I'll do? See, forty-three thousand two hundred have uh, exited, right? What I'll do? Forty-three two hundred. <coughs> Now what I'll do? I'll roll up one. What am I doing, guys? So that's what, right? I mean, I'm doing some sort of okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry. My bad. Okay, I'll ask you this question to you, right? I want to reduce <coughs> loss of this area. What should I do, guys? I want to reduce the loss of my because my view now has become directional. It will go down. How can I reduce this loss? I want to reduce this loss of five thousand eight fifty. Can someone please help me, uh, Doctor Vivek? I said exit bot CE bring PE inside by P. So now what you have to do? Someone is planning to write. I'll what I'll do? I have the put side right. See honestly, guys, I do not have the sleep. <laughs> Let's get a VR some sort of okay. I'll exit this PE. <clears throat> All right, forty-one eight hundred is my PE. I'll roll up forty-one eight hundred and let me see. Let me see by rolling up by two hundred points. I'll show you what are the consequences. Okay, see, this is one of the adjustment you can do. Now your loss from uh, almost what was the loss? Your loss was five thousand eight fifty. Right now, your uh, what do we say? Your your direction has changed. So this is the way you can decrease the loss on the testing side. Also, this is not the reverse buying. But right? every time we should not be going with the reverse buying. Reverse buying is only again. Let me reiterate one more time. Reverse buying is only when you think that market will take the U turn. But if the market has become directional for you based on some of this thing, first you do this roll up. You exit your put. And then do the roll up by getting. Now you are able to reduce your loss from five thousand eight fifty to almost right. How much is this? Uh, almost like two thousand four ninety three. Now you can decide in terms of deploying the broken wing fly, or you can go for put debits, uh, put naked buy, or else you can think about some uh, what do we say right? Put ratio spreads. So that's the reason I told you right when I started the presentation. Let me show you. Okay, see, these are all the things, right? I've told you, right? Uh, what is it? RB alone? No, guys, do not use the reverse buying alone. Yes, if you want, you can use the reverse buying alone. But if you combine the reverse buying with other adjustments, that's what we are discussing. Whenever your view, Iron Fly was like direct, uh, non-directional, right? The next day, market breached your break. Even the next day, I'm telling the next day morning, and if your view has changed to directional on the put side. Right, reverse buying will not help you. So there comes right. You what you have to do? You have, you have to get your put buy position inside. Reduce this loss. This is adjustment number one, and you have to combine with other adjustments like selling from the test from the opposite side, right? Or else you buy one naked uh, put, or else you deploy a ratio uh, put ratio split. See, we have discussed so many things, right? You have to do all these things, but. If someone is pretty much sure that no, the market will take a U-turn, you have to do the reverse buying. So let me get you back to reverse buying. So let me continue the uh, what do we say the uh, simulation, right? I'll again get you back to zero. <coughs> Delete, right? So now I'll do the reverse buying, guys. That's it. So now what I'll do? I'll do the reverse buying. So I'll book. See, guys, if you are getting confused, please watch my video one more time. See, I could have made ten minutes video also. This is what I wanted to show you everything live. Now, forty-one eight hundred. I'll do the reverse buying. I'll go for forty-one eight hundred. Right? See my. Then I'm booking this thing. Right? I'm booking call. I'll go for forty-three two hundred. Let me go for forty-three thousand. Right now, it's up to you whether you want to go for forty-three to hundred. Okay. Now I'll go for only two hundred points. That's it because <clears throat> because my view is market can take a U-turn. That's it. That's my view. I might be right. I might be wrong. Now, let me take you to thirty thirty minutes. <clears throat> See, this is how the market will test you, right? Your view was market will take a U turn. Check, check it, right? This is how the market, right? Literally, we see now you will change your mind. 
you will say okay i have done the reverse buying but now the market is going downside but let me again get it get this is what it see again let me get it. this is where we have done the adjustment guys right my loss was 10 rupees 30 minutes your view will change definitely let's say 30 minutes your view will change 30 minutes right it went like now you will say looking at this 300 rupees loss you will change your view 90% of the people though if someone doesn't accept it right you have to accept even i used to do that 30 minutes you will change your view now okay i've done the uh, blunder mistake right i should not have done the uh, reverse buying because now the market is going down so 30 minutes your view will change we are on the second day thursday friday guys we have another 5 days to go and what is the what is the iron fly end of the day it's a risk defense strategy right so if your view changes every 30 minutes boss you cannot trade it you cannot trade it now let me show you right 30 minutes next that within one hour your loss is 516 now i know what people will do they'll exit this now what they will they'll try to sell some naked call they'll try to uh, buy put and everything right so what i meant to say is like guys you have to have that emotion you have to have that psychology with you end of the day this is your maximum loss your maximum loss is 6000 even if you are able to mitigate this loss to 2000 3000 you should be happy Okay, let me take you to thirty minutes. <clears throat> This is where the market will test you. See, again, it came up, right? You, sh you, you should stick to your rule. That's it. Because today is Friday. I'm I'm done. I've done one my one of my adjustments on Friday. Usually, I do not do the adjustments. But the next day, market breached my break even. Next day morning, I'm done with my adjustments. On it, believe me, I'll not do one more adjustments. I'm done with my adjustments. I'll do my other adjustments only on Monday. Believe me, guys. I'll do my adjustments only on Monday. That's the reason you see me doing very less adjustments. I'm okay, right? Let me take you take you to thirty minutes. <clears throat> Check this time. Twelve twenty. We are at twelve twenty. Your loss again two eighty seven, right? This is the way the market will test you. Six hundred and eight. Forget about this thing, right? I'll just leave the terminal also. I'll just do the number one more adjustments only at the end of the day, or else sorry on the Monday because already I'm done with one of the adjustments. Let me take you three thirty, right? Market stands. I have a loss of two thousand one forty five. People might have done two to three adjustments. Okay, now let me show you what happened the next day morning. That is when the market opened Monday. Let me show. Right, this yeah, this year I'll 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 regret basically. Now I'll not do any adjustments because I have Friday, sorry Saturday, Sunday, weekend. So there are like too many things during the weekend. our nifty gets traded in the sjx nifty also all the manipulation so called uh, data operators big players will do this right now then what happened the next day right now <clears throat> the next day morning 920 the market opened flat okay now still i am with my view i'm still with my now let me tell you one more thing guys right so let's say this is your support right see it's it's easy to say let's say this is your support Right, you are expecting market to take a U turn from you, right? It's easy for me to say. Let's say even this could have been support. This could have been your support. Now your support has breached, right? Does it mean that I'll I'll I'll, I'll go and uh, do the adjustments? I'll just take some buffer time. By I'll take some buffer time. End of the day, it's a risk defined strategy. I'll take a uh, risk from two thousand five hundred. My loss has come down to one thousand five hundred. Okay. Now what I'll do? Thirty minutes. <coughs> Right. See, within thirty minutes, what happened, guys? Within thirty minutes, market opened. The market was check this price, right? Forty one eight sixty six. Your your loss was almost like one thousand five hundred. Thirty minutes. What happened? Right. Again, you got into green. That's it. Whenever your trade is in green, do not do the adjustments. Whenever your trade is in green, try to avoid the adjustments until the last moment. Yes, this time. my loss was 2000 on the friday end of the day but i'll take the i'll take the risk because i have another four days guys monday tuesday wednesday thursday right i'll react only on the monday this is this is how i do basically if you're if okay let me check the chat section is someone okay right now i'll go for 30 more minutes <clears throat> i'll not get into any panic situation unless and until my trade is either it is not showing huge mtm loss or it is in green Right. for me that's it i'll put my alerts <clears throat> the beauty is i'll just put my alerts i'll not even glare at the market this is what guys 2023 is all about alerts <clears throat> put the alerts based on the levels that's it you do not even monitor your trade though you are a full time trader you focus on the other trades but this trade you forget <clears throat> 30 minutes 30 minutes let me show you 
30 minutes guys do you do you do the reverse buying now do we have anyone who wanted to do the reverse buying and what reverse buying we have to do when i say reverse buying market stands here what reverse buying will you be doing because we all are very good at doing the reverse buying i know anyone who want to do the reverse buying here now if i want to do the reverse buying should i do the reverse buying on the call side or put side market stand this is a classic example market is standing here what reverse buying are you side what is that are you side shankar right i know people will be doing again they'll do one more reverse buying here i know people will be doing one because right they know premiums have become but old guys see you are in profit you are in profit old i mean unless and until the tell me one thing as and when you go close to expiry as and when you go close to expiry your see again let me ask you this question here let's say your market stands here right these are your buy positions right as and when you go, go close to expiry will your buy premium lose up see okay well, let me write will your buy premium decay the premium or it will the premiums will increase let's say your market stands here and you are going close to expiry the market is just playing between this range only between this range so your buy premiums will decay or the premiums will increase dk right that's way that is the one of the catch you have to uh, take away right when your premiums will dk so is it best for you to guys to hold right until the premiums dk so that whenever you do the reverse buying you will get the buy positions at a cheap premium try to understand i'm not sure whether i'm able to express the right way see do not do unnecessary reverse buying wait because your trade is in green forget about this profit as and when you stay right the the otm buys because when the market is in the middle of your uh, payoff right these are the otm buys that will end up the dk so if you want to do the reverse buying you will you will be doing with such a cheap debit with one go you'll be able to make your loss the trade green guys believe me i mean are you able to get what i meant to say i'm not sure whether i'm able to express it right the way so do not do unnecessary adjustments do not do unnecessary reverse buying looking at your payoff unless and until it that is giving no need of reverse because if at all you want to do the reverse buying right you will you will be doing reverse buying in in, uh, in such a way that you will be getting at a cheap premium for 300 points reverse buying you will be how much of points how much of premium we gave for 200 points guys the one reverse buying what we have done what extra premium we have given and someone i want to see whether you are monitoring that or not how much of premium we have given 27 rupees right let's say you wait for monday tuesday and for the same 200 points if you are getting a chance to do the reverse buying by giving only 10 rupees premium is that a good deal is that a good deal if you are getting absolutely right because you are reducing the loss of 200 into 25 loss you are reducing by just paying 10 rupees of debit from your pocket right you have to understand guys you guys watch this video two to three times right i mean i cannot explain to you everything in one hour okay let me uh, uh, show you okay but at least few people are able to get it now see again i'll not do the reverse buying now i'll not do the reverse I'll, i'm just monitoring i've just put the alerts this is the way market will test you i'm not into panic situation and now people will say that this guy know the view of the market you see i'll keep a check on this time right 350 uh, 150 guys right we are on 26 december we have another four days right let me 250 and 320 right 320 now should i do the reverse buying now guys you, i want you to answer it can i do the reverse buying now can i move this pe Okay, let me check. Right, let me check. Three twenty is the ideal time. Now, let me check how much of points am I getting? How much of extra debit am I giving? Okay, let me take you to the profit and loss. Now, your put side is showing you loss because we all know, right? Uh, this is your put, right? One twenty four. You bought it one twenty four eighty one rupees, right? Forty one eight hundred. Let me see by giving what debit, what. uh strikes i can move 41800 let me take you to the option chain 41800 uh 
add at numbers 41800 right now if i want to if i want to roll up by 200 points how much of debit am i giving right this is your 81 and 105 can please someone type me how much of extra premium am, am i giving right 24 rupees is it a good deal guys right 200 points roll up by just giving 24 rupees of premium which 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 looks good okay let me show you right i'll buy 42000 i'll buy 42000 now i'll exit this put at 81 rupees which one is that put which one is that this one right 124 see this is not rocket science just doing the reverse buying let me show you the payoff now this is how my payoff looks okay this is all now check the maximum pro loss let's see you need patience guys you need patience right now your original loss was 5850 you made your loss to 2000 rupees so almost i would say 60% of the loss you have been able to mitigate by just doing two adjustments still i would have not done this adjustment but i'm just showing to you because i have another uh, three more days like i have tuesday wednesday and thursday but okay let me show you right so now the takeaway is like there is not drastic reduced in your profit from 11625 your profit is still a good but you are able to reduce the loss to uh, 60% now range check this range guys now you have to check this range everyone will give focus towards this uh, profit but check the range you have done two adjustments you are you are reducing your range i should have taken the range also right okay we'll do one thing i should have taken the range before doing the adjustment so then you would have got to know what are the pros and cons of doing the reverse buying is yes, you are reducing your loss point number 1 second thing without any additional margin right you are able to manage your iron fly right does that require any additional margin guys no right you are not selling anything you are just doing the uh, reverse buying now let me take you to next day i mean at 3:30 <coughs> home obstacle doesn't start all right so this is how my trade looks i do i don't know what happens we we we, we never this is <clears throat> we never knew what happens the next day worst to worst case i'll be able to lose only 2000 so this is almost like 1 is to 5 trade right initially we started with 1 is to 2 but now we have converted to 1 is to 5 am i right guys did we convert it to 1 is to 5 now 2000 loss 10000 profit Right, this is what you have to do. Boss, believe in risk to reward. Believe in this with one adjustment, right? With two adjustments, basically, you are able to rate, you convert your one is to see. This is your loss. One is to two to one is to five. Okay, I never know what will happen, but do you get peace of mind with this trade? Sorry, I meant to say good sleep. With this trade, do you guys get good sleep? <coughs> Irrespective of what news we are hearing, <coughs> at least for me, I'll get good sleep. at least for me because i have another 3 days to reduce this loss now there comes your contra trade we are not even discussing about anything called contra trade guys and um, we are just doing the reverse buying let me take you to the next day next day morning right 20 we are on 27 see this is the way market it went at 920 guys now you tell me whether you will be doing the reverse buying or not should i do the reverse buying you have to tell me markets market is almost at your break even should i do the reverse buying sendil why sendil no one no one is telling that what is the view so you you should say was my view maybe you see uh, uh yeah absolutely right if there is a strong resistance do the reverse buying if there is a strong resistance do the reverse buying if the resistance is breached why should i do the reverse buying that's one of the question asked to yourself see no one will talk this detail again let me tell you right again let me tell you you should not right if there is a strong resistance here do the reverse buying because i know market can take a u turn if you feel like already there was a strong resistance here which already breached by the market now your view has become right it can go directional then why are we thinking about doing the reverse buying that's the reason i'm telling was combine reverse buying with some strategies that will with with <clears throat> right buy the call again the same thing right 
deploy the broken wing fly now even you can do the buddhi right exit this by get this inside make this loss free and then deploy one broken wing fly or else how many you see that it all depends again i'm telling you is if resistance if there is a strong reversal if there is if, if there is chance of market coming down do the reverse buying if it has already breached the resistance then think about selling from opposite side right again i'll not discuss guys the same thing what i've discussed right now let me let me show you right let me show you okay it's night 20 right let me take to 30 more minutes right let's see <coughs> see <laughs> my god this is what happened right? that's the reason i keep on telling don't do any adjustments during 920 see at least give some time for market to settle right 920 we know right the market opens at 950 and too many things get into concentration right the overnight uh, settlement happens right the the pre uh, we see right from 915 to 920 925 30 market will be volatile right even uh, someone someone takes that as an opportunity but someone who is doing some sort of strategy he might end up into huge losses with the with the uh, what is it bid and ask price see what happened basically right i could have done the reverse buying right but see the market next 30 minutes it came down now guys you tell me should i do the adjustment here or or should i should i just see like how the market market be see i could have done the adjustment here right i know market is reversing so then i would have shown you rossi see, see how how uh, profit you got okay let me show right i'll not do the any adjustment i'll wait for 30 minutes market is back to this position market is back to this position we are on 27th guys now tell me one thing guys tell me one thing if at all i want to do the reverse buying should i do it on the put side or call side this is very interesting guys if at all i want to do the reverse buying yeah sentil at least sentil says both side absolutely someone who want to do only one side it all depends on the view of the market again i'll not repeat simple guys again i'll not repeat right the sentil is perfect right both sides you can do the reverse buying both sides point number 1 yeah 100 points also you can do 100 points but i'll not do the adjustments because i'll tell you why see telling is very easy but this is what i do guys this is what because i'm not in panic at all not in panic at all i have like 1700 if i do one more adjustments yes i'll be able to reduce this loss for sure i'll be able to reduce this loss like 100 points up 100 points down i'll be able to reduce the loss for sure but i'm not in panic right so i'll just wait i'll just wait because i know i am my i am on 27th so my expiry is 29 so i have another 3 days basically 950 guys i have 27th 28th 29 okay let me show you what will happen if i do the reverse buying right even this is matter right let me show you i'll exit both this <coughs> uh, 85 i'll exit and i'll exit this also i'll just do 100 points roll up and roll down <clears throat> okay 43 42000 43 i'll just do 100 points what is 43 yeah 43 i'll just go to 100 points roll down and 42000 put right 42000 i'll do 100 points roll up see if at all i'm doing roll up see 150 minus 174 how much of premium am i giving guys this is very important for you to understand how much of premium i have exited this trade this leg 26 is it required guys should i pay 26 rupees premium for 100 strike earlier we were able to do reverse buying by 200 points we were giving 27 but now we are giving 26 points let me show you the call side also right 43000 right 43079 and we are going for 100 so this is 20 points it's up to you if you are okay give it or else just wait okay let me show you the payoff how the payoff will become see now this is how your payoff has become guys loss almost negligible lost almost but still you are not compromising on the profit because the reason why we are not compromising the profit is like because we are not doing a yes, we have done the aggressive adjustments what i believe is like whenever someone is going for reverse bank guys try to do in such a way that you, no, you do not do more than two adjustments at max three adjustments 
Now, just because we have done three adjustments, still my original profit was eleven thousand six twenty-five. It is not a drastic change, but my loss, guys, from five thousand almost six thousand, I got it to eight one one. Okay, now when I I am like I am safe now. I'll just I'll just call this as my zero or zero strategy. How many times? Yes. One week, two weeks, three weeks. The market will end up here. The market will end up here. I do not mind giving this eight hundred loss also. But one day out of four weeks, even the market expires here, right? I'll be I'll be like able to see how much of giving eight hundred into three times. I'll be giving only two thousand four hundred loss. But one time I'll be capturing nine thousand, six thousand, five thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand. This is called this is this is the reason I call zero or zero strategy because. I do not look at the profit. Sorry, guys. Sorry for giving you the gain because to 2023 because you change your mindset, right? Enough of looking at the profit. I call. I make my trade. We started with one is to two and see what is the ratio now. Can someone please tell me what ratio we made? And we we are taking the live current week example. I'm not taking anything which is like compatible to me. I can show you all the weeks also, right? That's it. Your risk, you have converted it to one is to eleven, guys. One is to eleven. Okay, okay. Let me show you. I'll assume that I would have not done this adjustment because I'm not into panic. But let me again show you. Let's say I've already done this adjustment. Nine fifty. That's it, guys. Again, I'll not even do any adjustments for two for twenty seven Jan. I'll just ignore. I'll just quit my terminal. That's it. Either I'll focus on my work. I'll focus on my learning. I'll do some YouTube videos, or else I'll, if it is a working day, I'll just focus on my work by putting the alerts. I'm done. Nine fifty. I've done the alert bit. Now I'll not do any more adjustments because this is called. This is a way you have to manage your emotion. I know today I'm just giving too much of psychology. Uh, uh, we're discussing about psychology, but this is what you have to do. If again, if someone asks saying that this guy know the view of the market, is able to see. I'm just showing you. At least for me. I know the market, but at least for you, you are having that realistic feeling. Like, should we do this adjustment? Not. I'm showing you everything. Now, let me take you to 30. I don't even care now for that particular day. I'll I'll just focus on 28 September. Okay, 30 minutes. <clears throat> 30 minutes. <clears throat> 30 minutes. This is this is just the time pause for me. Now, I'll be doing the adjustments adjustments only when the market comes at my break even <laughs> call set break even at least so that. I'll make my loss zero on the put side. Let me see whether market is giving me that opportunity or not. I'll not do any adjustments if the market trends like either this should be breached or this should be breached on that particular day. One twenty, one fifty, two twenty, two fifty, three fifty. Right? Three. Now, guys, tell me. Can I do the adjustments now? Can I do the reverse buying? This is very interesting. Three. Can I do the reverse buying now? Again, the same question. You should ask yourself, guys. Ask yourself that question, right? Do we have a strong resistance? If you have a strong resistance, go for it. That's it. If you still believe that there is a strong resistance here. Let's say the strong resistance here, or maybe till see end of the day. What did I say? You need to have two to three resistance, guys. You need to have two to three resistance. Yeah, sell P. Uh, Shubhat. I mean, we are discussing only about R B. That's it. I could have see. I could have discussed about so many. We are discussing only about reverse buying. I do not want to deploy any margin. We are as a side note. I'm telling you, you can do anything. You can sell the put, right? Just to capture that extra credit. Now. 320 we are at 320 right should i do the reverse buying is all depends on the resistance if you feel that there is a stop because we are coming close to expiry now so we have only two days 29 28 and 29 we are end of the day okay let me let me do the reverse buying let me show you and do the reverse buying right this is see end of the day end of the day it's it's, it's a defined risk strategy let me show you okay now i want to do the put reverse buying Right, I cannot do the reverse buying on the call side because premiums will be huge. Right, guys, I I believe you know. Right, I cannot do the reverse buying on the call side because premiums are huge. That's it. Now, the premium. Let's check like what premium this trade is showing. Okay, what is your put side? Forty two hundred. Let me take you to forty two hundred. 
42,200. Okay, now 51 rupees. Check the beauty, guys. Now, if I want to go for 100 points, how much of extra debit am I giving? Can someone please type me? If if you type, then only I'll be able to know. Right? I am giving seven points. Seven into twenty-five. What is that? Why? I mean, this seven into twenty-five for single load. Seven into twenty-five. Right. So by just giving one seventy-five rupees, I am saving almost like hundred into twenty-five, like close to this much of loss. Not exactly, but you have to do that calculation. So what if if I go for two strike, two hundred points, right? How much of extra I am giving? Fifty-one, sixty-one, fifteen points. Fifteen points. If I go for three hundred points, how much am I giving? Like fifty, seventy, nine. Almost like twenty points, like less than twenty points, right? Can someone calculate? Like, let me show you, right? Very aggressive. Let me show you. I'll, I'll, per, I'll buy back this. So fifty-one. I'm exiting this forty-two hundred, and then I'm buying back forty-two four hundred, three hundred spread by just giving sixty-one seventy-one, uh, almost like twenty-nine. Let me show you, right? Let me show you. I, I'm not sure whether I'm going to make profit or loss, but I'm just talking about the concept here. That's it. I'll not, I'll not show you like whether I'm making profit in this trade. Just teaching you the uh, this thing, right? Now I'll go to option chain. I'll sorry, profit and loss. I'll exit this put, right? Or for how much? For fifty one. Right? I'll not do this aggressive, but let me show you aggressive adjustment also. Now tell me, guys, how will be my payoff on the put side? Put side will be in loss, profit, huge profit. Minimum profit, the payoff on the put side, green profit. Okay, let me show you. Right, <clears throat> that's it, guys. Now check the beauty. Right, still this is not a great. Uh, see, still you have one thousand five hundred and twelve loss if the market keeps going in one direction. But what you have done here, you are able to increase your profit to eight thousand six. Four sixty-two on a capital of fifty thousand. Let's say fifty thousand, right? We are not selling anything. This is pure iron flight with reverse buying. We have, we do not have any sold position. We are just managing with each with the reverse buying. So eight thousand six forty-two, right? If the, the market keeps right, you do the calculation. Now this is what I do. If someone is not comfortable saying that I'm not okay to give this loss, what you can do is like rather than going for three hundred. Let me go for forty-two three hundred. I'll show you all the permutations. I'll buy forty-two three hundred. Now you check the difference. And this time I'm giving you, I'm giving less debit. Right? My loss is only one thousand two twenty-three because I'm giving less. Right? But still I have the good profit eight thousand seven forty-one. Right? It's 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 up to you now. Right, whether you do this adjustment, so let me take you to the next day. What happens? This is not only the one adjustment, guys. I mean, there are like so many adjustments. Let's let's take the next day. What happens? See, next day my profit is one thousand four twenty three, right? So now, what I'll do? I'll just try. I'll just we we know that we'll just try to pay to God say the market should come down, right? I should end up getting into this maximum profit. Let me do. Let me go to thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. <coughs> Thirty minutes. So this is how the market will test you. Thirty minutes. I think. I think we are done with the video base. We are done with. See, I've shown you everything. Thirty minutes. Now three twenty. What will you do here? Now I want you. I want to listen from you. What will you do here? We are almost at twenty eighth December at five twenty. If market comes down, you will get with huge profit, huge profit eight thousand seven forty one. If market goes up, you will end up into loss. Now, you guys, tell me what adjustments will you be doing? This is the trade. Someone said C E rolled on. Absolutely, I want to listen from you. Shankaran said C E rolled on. Can someone say I'll just leave it? I just leave it because again the view comes right. Again the view will come into picture, right? Right. Let's say this is a strong resistance, right? You know that market is at a critical resistance. It will go. It can. It can come down. 
So even if that breaks out, I am okay to give this loss. Even Thursday, I'll be reducing this loss. But this is what I call zero or zero strategy. Like I want to listen from any, everyone. It's only that dot one or two guys, right? Okay, let me show you what will happen if I roll down the call, right? As per Shankaran. Okay, my call is. See, I'll not do this many adjustments. So I'm showing you worst to worst scenario. I'm showing you worst to. I could, I can, I can show you like two to three adjustments also wherein you'll be getting with good profit. But let me do my reverse buying, right? So which is the call which is active? This one, right? Call. What is this? Hundred rupees premium, which is the. Forty-two nine hundred, right? I'll exit this. Forty-two nine hundred. Now, okay, forty-two nine hundred. Call I've exited. Okay, we go to option C. <clears throat> okay, forty-two nine hundred. This is what I've exited. Now I want to go inside. Check the premiums, guys. Now it's up to you. Check the premiums. If you want to go to hundred points, you have to give fifty rupees premium. Let me show you, right? By giving fifty rupees premium, what are you trying to do? See, this is how your trade will become. I, I, I would not mind doing this trade also. That's it. Now my loss is zero. If market comes down. I'll be getting seven thousand profit, up to seven thousand profit. Sorry to say, up to seven thousand profit. If the market keeps going up, my loss would be zero. If at all I want to go for forty to seven hundred, okay, I'll delete this. I want to give more debit. I'll go for forty to seven hundred. Let me show you. I want to buy. Right? See, this is how your trade will become. Even someone can go for this. Now, minimum profit you will have one thousand uh, rupees here, right? Maximum profit you will have six thousand. Still on a capital of fifty thousand, six thousand is huge. One thousand one one seven. So, what is guys? What is one thousand two hundred on a capital of fifty thousand? Minimum profit you will be getting. Worst to worst case, even if it is have a uh, upper circuit, lower circuit. One thousand two hundred profit on a capital of two thousand three percent decent, and you have still a profit of six thousand, which is almost like how much is like on fifty thousand? What is six thousand? Okay, let me show you. Right, it, it, I took too much of. See, guys, the reason why I took so much of time is like someone I shared yesterday one video. Right, one guy. I see. Believe me, these option flavors. Even I was one of the student of that guy. Right, but. The kind of uh, adjustment what they show is like they will just make five to eight minutes of video. Even I got <clears throat> uh, what do we say? Right, I've seen this video, and I, I mean long back, maybe even I am one of the student, right? I should not be denying the fact. But if you guys want me to make a ten minutes video, I could have done the ten minutes video, right? I could have taken my uh, my week, right? The week which which will show you like ten percent, twenty percent profit. You guys would have told, wow! But I don't want to do. That's the reason I want to get this done live. So that you will get to know. See how many adjustments we have done. Right? We have not done aggressive adjustments. We have done smart adjustments. But still, I would say aggressive, but but backed up with the price action. Forget about price action. Backed up with the uh, what do we say? Right, uh, the uh, saving the capital. Right. We were not into that aggressive mode. Right. We were actually balancing the trade in a systematic way, saying that day in day out we were reducing the loss. I did not even give a look at this profit. Okay, now let me take. <clears throat> now this one. See, guys, when did we start this video? <laughs> we started at two. So one hour eight minutes. Do you want this one hour eight minutes video, or do you want me to make five minutes video by just saying that two adjustments you are with ten percent profit, fifteen percent profit? I want to hear from you. Which one will go? Should I do like five minutes videos? If you are making my job easy, which I can easily do that. But do you want me to discuss all these adjustments? <clears throat> I am showing you all the adjustments, right? You are getting that realistic feeling. Yes, I know the view of the market. I by knowing the view of the market, I could not have done the adjustment, right? That, see all the adjustments. This this is what. Now I'll not wait much time. Okay, so next day morning, what happened? Next day morning, guys. Now either we will get six thousand profit or else one thousand. What is it? One thousand two hundred profit. That's it. I don't know where the market will go. The next day mornings, see, 
the next day morning on the expiry day that's it guys see now i'll i'll show you some some good things in this right the next day morning see 2136 it's up to you now now tell me guys I, I, this is very very interesting can i can i increase the profit on this side call side and put side yes market stands here at 920 but expiry day you know right market can go here or market can go here how to increase the profit on this side because i do not know the market can expire exactly at my this cone of the center can i increase the profit on both the sides <laughs> someone please how 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 can i increase simple guys you have to roll down or roll up that's it a see now 920 right <clears throat> what you have to think is like If you want to increase the profit on the call side, roll down. If you want to increase the profit on the put side, roll up. If you want to increase on both the side, roll down and roll up. Let me show you. Let me show you. Roll down. End of the day, it it depends on your uh, view. Okay. What where is my call position? Forty two seven hundred. I'll exit this. This is expiry day, right? I'll exit this now. Forty two seven hundred. Let me see what extra debit am I giving. Forty two seven hundred, okay. Forty two seven hundred to forty two six hundred. Forty two seven, yeah. I've rolled out. I'll I'll exit it, and I wanted to go for one hundred points. So see, check the check the debit I'm giving guys. Seventy seven and one one seven. You calculate now, right? How much of extra debit am I giving? Let me buy back this. <coughs> because if my view is bullish <coughs> i'll go for this trade now see simple guys now <coughs> you will be getting like almost like how much is this 2600 profit if the market makes upper side still you have the profit of 5000 if the market expires in this cone right or else if you want to increase the profit on the put side or okay, let me show you right let me show you with this thing okay let me show you with this thing 920 again we'll come back to 920 Keep a check on the profit. See, two thousand three hundred. I would rather say book the profit. Guys, two thousand three hundred is like almost like four to five percent on the capital deploy. See, slowly market is going up. See again, market came down. This is how the market will test you. Twelve fifty. And still, you are in good profit. See now, all of a sudden, market went up. One fifty. Twelve. Two twenty. See, this is the way the market. See, the market was standing here. Market went up. Let me show you. Three twenty. What happened at three twenty, guys? Let me again take it back. See, this is this is a kind of wild moments the market is giving us, right? Since from today, see. But still, three p.m. Okay, market stands here. See, suddenly market went up. Market went up. Market went up. Went up, went up. That's what it has closed. Now, see, still two thousand six hundred is a good profit. See, now, if you if if you want to increase the profit of the put side, you could have done the roll down. End of the day, we never know, right? Maybe if you guys think that you guys know, so let let me show, let me take you. See, you got it right. Again, go back to nine twenty. Now try to uh, roll up the uh, put side, and you see by yours because you have obstra in front of you. See now again. Let me take you back to this slide. Guys. This is now very important. So we what we have discussed is yes. What is reverse buying? We have seen why we have seen when we have seen how we have seen. If you guys still are not able to answer this question, you have to watch the video one more time. And this is not the end. That's the reason I'm telling. Life cycle of reverse buying. See, I can I can again explain you one thing, guys. Life cycle of iron fly. Sorry, butterfly. Sorry, not butterfly. Not our reverse bank. Let's see. Market style. This is your iron play. Simple brothers, do not do the adjustments on Friday, right? Unless and until your your break even has breached on your call side or on the put side. If the market stands here or here or here on Friday, don't do the don't do the reverse buying, because when the market stands here. Here or center, your MTM will be not in loss, guys. I'm just giving you my experience. I might be right. I might be wrong. Don't do reverse buying unless and until 
there is a panic in your MD1. I would say already iron fly is a risk defense strategy. You will not get into panic. There is no concept called panic in the iron fly because this is risk defined. Okay, don't do any adjustments on Friday unless and until this has breached or this has breached or else the market has come here, the market has breached this thing. Rather, what I would say, the next day morning, if market comes here, market comes here, do not think about reverse buying. Exit this entire trade and deploy a new iron fly. That's, that's what I do. But still, you want to get stick to this trade, right? Then, if the market has breached here, if you think there is a strong resistance here, accordingly do the reverse buy. But if you think the market has already breached your resistance, don't even think to do the reverse buying. You have to change your gates accordingly. Right? The best example would is exit the entire iron fly because you deployed the iron fly with a view of sideways. Now the next day morning, 320 have deployed this trade. The next day morning, market has beast your resistance, your break-even or also your strong resistance. Market has become pure directional. Then why the hell we sit with this trade? Exit this entire trade with 300 loss, 400 loss, 500 loss. Go and deploy a new trade. Second thing, life cycle. Monday, right? Monday, let's say the market stands here. Or here. do not do the reverse buying unless and until, even I'm telling you guys, unless and until your, your break even is breached. If Monday, let's say the Monday market stands here, here in between your green zone, right? Do not forget this concept called theta. End of the day, you have deployed the iron fly. If you are focusing more on the river, on the buying side, don't behave like a option buyer. Still, you are an option seller. You have deployed it on Thursday, Friday, right? Friday market did not breach. You are still retaining the trade. Monday, the market is still between your trade. That means you are getting the overnight theta benefit. Okay, so. Even on Monday or Tuesday, if the, if the market stays here, for I mean, you will be getting like three to four percent, two to three percent, anyways, within your iron fly without doing the single adjustments. So exit the iron fly. I know people deploy the iron fly; they wait till the close to expiry, and then what happened? Uh, we have seen the live example, right? Thursday, our iron fly was almost like at the break even, and then it made a wild movement. That's what it happens with the iron fly. Okay, Monday, if the if the iron or uh, your iron fly stays within this thing, don't even plan to do a reverse buying. Guys, one second. Or else you can do one thing. Yeah, if still you want to stick with the trade, Monday you can do one roll up of hundred points, one roll down of hundred points. What will this make your trade? This this will reduce your loss. This will reduce your loss. Second thing on Tuesday. Right. Let's say again the market. Uh, don't do the reverse buying unless and until this is breached. Again, I'm telling. This is a complete life cycle. I'm telling that the moment this gets breached, you have to do the reverse buying or combine the reverse buying with other strategies. Tuesday, let's say the market stands here. Let's say now you will get a golden opportunity for you to do the reverse buying on Tuesday because by Tuesday, this premiums even you can roll up by three hundred points by just giving five rupees. 8 rupees, 9 rupees. And are we creating any loss on the call side? So what is 5 into 25? We are creating, adding up just a loss of 250 rupees here. But we are making my trade green here. Because the remaining, see, I'm, re I'm able to reduce the loss by 300 points. So let's say the market stands here. The market takes a U-turn. You have full profit here. And you have minimum profit here. And let's say Wednesday, simple. Let's say the Wednesday, the market again came up, market stands here. Let's say, or the market stands here. Because second adjustments, if you do the reverse buying of here, your trade will become green. That's it. Two adjustments, this is your trade will become green. That's it. The market will stand here or here. That's it. And now, now you have to think about increasing the profit. That's where we learned about all the contract rates. Someone, someone has already told the nice thing, right? If you are just planning to do the reverse bank, do with reverse bank. But let's say the market stands here and your trade is green, right? Do the reverse bank also sell from the opposite side. You, if there is a strong resistance here, sell from the testing side. End of the day, you have to increase the credit. But again, this is for someone who have some extra capital. But if someone wants to manage the entire reverse buying within like 50K, this is what you have to do. Let me take, let me see guys, did this video help you? 
I thought of doing it only for one day because uh, I mean my relatives are expected at my home. Sorry, guys, all the paid membership program. Sorry, I thought of doing that session today at six pm. But believe me, we are not closing the session. We are having another like three to four sessions. I don't don't think that Ravi is not conducting the session right. Even yesterday, I did not conduct because taking the thirty first into consideration today, right? This is for generic session. But believe me, we have like three to four sessions. Guys, did this did this session help you or not? Okay, and what are the other things? Yeah, we have discussed about yeah, right? Life cycle of iron fly. Uh, sorry, uh, reverse buying. R B alone, you take the call. I would say I'll I'll mix up my reverse buying with other adjustments. Pros and cons of reverse buying we have seen. What are the advantages? No margin required, right? Uh, no panic, right? The other cons would be you will be creating. See, I'll tell you one thing, right? The other panic would be right. Your iron fly will be like this. Multiple reverse buying will create your iron fly something like this. Yes. Like this. Now view decide. That's it. Yes, the iron flow because this will become profit, but your range will reduce. This is your adjusted range. Your original range was good. All right. Just for the formality purpose, you are doing multiple reverse buying, but you are making your strangle your iron fly so narrow that hardly you will get into profit. But at least this is my original iron fly. I had a bigger range. So just try not to do more than two adjustments, and then try to combine the reverse buying with other adjustments, right? Reverse buying with price action. Guys, let me tell you one thing: whenever you deploy this iron fly, right? Do you guys give any importance to this break even and this break even, this buy position, this break even, and that's the reason I've started, right? Let's say this is your market. You have two, re three resistance. Three supports, boss. Try to match, right? This resistance should be this one. This should be match this thing, and then something you should have in your mind of the third resistance. Support, I would say this support should be your first support. You have to create the strike in such a way, right? This two and this thing should be in your mind. Then only you'll be able to do the adjustments. If you, that's the reason. See, I do this thing. I do this thing: reverse buying with my price action levels. All about levels. You plot the levels and you ensure that those levels are showcased on your payoff. Then put the alerts. Leave it unless and until your alerts are triggered. Do not do the reverse buying. And VIX, we have seen right. Whenever you go for the theta, we have already seen right uh, during the life cycle of the reverse buying. As and when. Your iron fly is still in your green zone. Do not do the reverse buying because do the reverse buying only when your break events are breached. When you see the MTM loss, if you do aggressive reverse buying, you are narrowing your iron fly. If you hold, you are getting already profit in your iron fly. And end of the day, if at all you want to do the reverse buying, you will be able to do the reverse buying by just paying a penny debit rather than me spending twenty seven rupees. I want to. Move three hundred points by just giving five rupees or six rupees. This this holding power, this thing will only you'll be able to do only when you are uh, when you when you control your emotions. Don't do aggressive adjustment because I wanted to get this video done actually for twenty twenty two because I know just for the formality of doing adjustments, people end up doing aggressive adjustments. Do not do the adjustments unless and until it is required. How you will avoid? Doing lesser adjustment is like this is the taker. That's it. That's it. These are the levels. That's it. When I would, I, I would, this is what I do. I have the levels on your charts. Put the alerts. Leave it. Okay. Theta we have seen, right? R B with direction, right? Again, I am telling you, if this is your iron fly, next day morning the market has breached your resistance. If someone is still thinking about reverse buying from this position, you you are. I mean, sorry for using that word, but you, you are not justifying your trade. Why do you want to do the reverse buying when the market is becoming traditional? Right? Already your put buy is in loss. Right? Second thing, again you are giving some extra debit. Right? And what? Why? why when, when do we? When do we go for put buying? Right? When the market? When? When the market uh, has to fall? When the market has become directional? Why the hell am I getting one more put buy by giving some additional uh, debit? 
right so the best way to manage the best way to manage the directional iron fling the moment the market goes breaks your this thing is like selling from here change the thought process forget about reverse buying the second thing is like get your buy wings inside first reduce the loss here deploy a broken wing fly here go for reduce the loss and go for ce buy go for ratio spread at here because your view has changed now from non directional it has become directional if you are sticking to just to reverse buying without knowing the logic of the reverse buying that would not help right how to design your own rb that this is what i'm telling you guys this is use this all this logic levels like fix theta all this company you can design again i'll tell you one more before closing right before i open up open it for the q and a session i'll tell you one thing right let's say the market stands here this is your market i'll tell you right if at all you want to deploy a directional uh, iron fly right you can you should do like this not like this right go for this right market stands here right this is your directional trade right your view is bullish right when your view is bullish don't have your market in the center let's have the market here right let's say if your view is somewhat bearish right this is what you have to do right go for bearish right because when your view is bearish boss go for you, you you should have more safety at this position when your view is bearish this side should not have loss have minimum loss or try to have zero loss or try to have some profit if someone someone's view is market stands here someone wants to deploy a iron fly here then you are doing something wrong don't go for iron fly because market standing here and if you're planning to go for directional uh, iron fly right direction and apply so one of your leg will become what in the money so rather go for what can we go for right when the market stands here my view is super bullish what is the other trade for alternative for iron fly then i'll open it for q and if someone can close my view is bullish absolutely butterfly put a call butterfly the first step towards achieving your dreams is having the right coach get the best education with hybrid trader and make your options strategies and swing trading dreams come true download the app now